boat today is a 23 Ultra Elite from Carolina Skiff. This boat is a very high-end boat, as you can see, it's not your father's Carolina Skiff. 22 foot 10 inches long, 100 inches wide, nice wide dunnels, I could parade around this entire perimeter if I wanted to. But we're going to walk you through some of the features of the boat and actually get some running shots today. You're going to enjoy this. Come on aboard. Let me walk you through some of the features right starting at the bow. So we'll go front to the rear and walk you through the boat. You see some pretty plush seating. This is nice, thick upholstery, very comfortable. There's even a table that I'll drop in here and show you that stores in the head compartment. But first, let me point out the anchor locker. It's a nice deep anchor locker, very convenient. Pull-up cleats are featured throughout the boat. Underneath every one of these, even here, there's storage. So under every piece of upholstery, today's going to be a nice cruise day. We're going to have a very comfortable lunch sitting at a table right here. But if this is a hardcore fish trip, you can strip this off and this would be a big casting deck. Folks, I just wanted to give you a look at this compartment. It's a huge changing room area with a porta potty. It comes complete from the factory. Inside here, there's a curtain that covers the rigging tubing in the rigging area for the guys that have to prepare a boat and make it right and hook up electronics. And that's where your table's Okay, stored. now we have the table set up. You notice there's a couple cup holders built into it as well. And we can easily sit probably a half a dozen people here and have a really nice lunch. There's two seats right here. There's seating all around here. Everyone's within reach of the table. Very comfortable setup. Now in the back of the boat, folks, you're going to find a very comfortable area, but it's a serious cockpit if you're fishing. Notice all the room I have right now. I've got rocket launchers for rods. I've got cup holders in case you're a little thirsty and dehydrating out there. There's two of them right here. Four rod holders and a very convenient cooler. And by the way, this boat comes with two coolers. From the factory with two coolers so you're really prepared. Very nice seating on the leaning post, but let me point out the back of the boat. There's a swim platform that's nice and high and dry. There's a larger integrated swim platform built in. Right here you have your live well. Down here is access to your batteries and other controls. Right here you have a built-in tackle center. Very convenient. You don't have to kick around a tackle box. Very easy to get to. Now I think the ladies are going to really like this one. So are you guys too, because if your sunglasses get some salt on them, like we do down here in southwest Florida, look at this. You've got a nice little sink to rinse off, and it's, there's a tank right here, very easy and convenient to fill. This boat does it all, and here's your seating right here. Your seating, you flip up like this, and boom. you got extra seating all the way across the back of the boat. If you could swing around here, let me show you. You've got right here a high pressure wash down. This is raw water on this side, right here, folks. That's raw water. Right here, you have a convenient shower. This is fresh water. So if you come on board and you want to get the salt off you, very convenient to wash the salt off. If it's a fish trip, this is a completely self bailing boat sitting high and dry. You use the raw water to wash the blood and guts overboard and get her all cleaned up before getting back in the dock. Very functional. Come on up and let's look at the console. The console, this is a brand new boat. Obviously there's no electronics in here, but the console has a large area for installing today's large electronics. You could put a big 12 inch screen in here if you wanted to. This boat is equipped with a Suzuki. This particular one comes with a Suzuki multi-function gauge. So this gauge will do a lot of different functions, including your gallon per hour burn, so you don't need another fuel controller. Your switches over here are completely uh, labeled to show you which one's the aerator, which one's the live well, which one's the navigation lights. Your it's equipped with it all. You also have on this boat a very nice setup from the factory. It's a Jensen Marine Stereo that's equipped with an auxiliary plug-in, so if you have MP3s on your phone or you want to bring an iPod along, this will do it all for you. That's great sound through four speakers. This is factory installed, 
you're going to enjoy this boat. You'll notice this boat is also equipped with another option. The electronic trim tabs help get that bow down and get this boat on plane very quickly. It's important on a bay boat because generally you're skinny water fishing. The boat only has a 12 inch draft. It has a nice relief pocket and we mount the engines nice and high to take advantage of that shallow draft. What we would recommend, and it's your option, is also putting a jack plate on there and you get full advantage of the shallow draft of this boat. It's only a 12-inch draft, and that's with a heavy four-stroke engine. They rate it 9 to 12 inches depending on what motor you put on. Everybody, we're about to get fired up. The crew's going to arrive any second now with bathing suits. We're going to go out and enjoy a day, and we're going to put a load of people on here to show you the capacity of this boat. But what I wanted to show you is this particular boat, when you start it, you turn it on, there's an alarm system that checks itself and checks the systems of the motor. We're going to fire it up and show you how quiet today's four-stroke motors are. Okay, everybody, I want to show you the uh, multi-purpose gauge from Suzuki. It's reading the RPM right now, and we can change pages. It'll show engine voltage. That would show you another engine if you had a second engine on board. There's your fuel flow, and I'll play around with a throttle right now to show you fuel flow, how that works. Okay, so we're going to take the boat out for a little spin. We're going to put her up on plane and show you how she goes through. to give you an idea of the stuff this boat will deal with. We're out in the Gulf. It's a little dicey today. We are the only boat here uh, to have shown up after us. It's larger than us. This boat does great. It handles anything you want to throw at it. Look at everybody on board about to go swimming. Not everybody wants to take it on today. The Carolina skip is doing well.